So after a long day at work, eventually we stop working. This is my playtime. Right, Deepa? I think of Partiv as almost this animated character. You can't take your eye off of him. He's just such a unique individual, like a kind, giving person. And you can tell that from your immediate interaction. I think what makes him special is I don't expect a native Indian to be funny. They're very generally very dry, and just their culture and stuff. And so I think with that, it's like a childlike energy and a childlike innocence. And then he's just super, super funny. So one day we bought this machine thingy uh, that you just go like that and cut. And first day, as soon as I took it out, I was cutting onion. It was onion, 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 thumb. $50 deductible at ER. I call myself the heart and brain of the business. She is the soul of the business. When you have a husband and wife working together to grow a business this intimately, there is this endless supply of energy and joy. One thing is, uh, I knew that this guy is different. We went to his office, spent three, four hours talking about like strategies, talking about we analyzed everything, and he invited us for dinner in his house. Being able to see and meet somebody's family, be in their home, that's a level of intimacy you don't generally get. At that point, it was not just a business transaction. I knew this is more of a relation than a transaction itself. That's why I committed. I was like, you know what? We're in for this together, and, and it's been great since then. This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting, George Stephanopoulos. Good evening, we're coming on the air right now because President Trump is about to address the nation from the Oval Office on the coronavirus crisis. COVID-19, first reported in China on December 31st, called a pandemic today by the World Health Organization as it cascades across the globe with devastating consequences. It's in 114 countries now, more than 125,000 cases and 4,600 deaths. Italy hit so hard, their prime minister announced a nationwide lockdown tonight, a halt to nearly all commercial activity. March 2020 was a difficult time for all of us in the world. We're in Pennsylvania, one of the more locked down states, and we actually went through three lockdowns. So the first one was tough, but we kind of did okay. Second one was tough, and I remember coming out of it in July, August, like, okay, we're doing good, you know, we're putting some money in the bank and we're gonna be okay. And then they locked us down a third time. And that was the hardest, because that went through the holidays. I had been here for 32 years, been through a lot of different, the 08 crash and all the, but this, we, we lost, I mean, I emptied every bank account, emptied any retirement, any savings. So we went through Christmas with $67 for the final two weeks of the year. So when Dr. Winton said he is not going to pay, he exhausted every other option before coming to that heartbreaking thing. Mm -hmm. If it's part of, I don't want to waste anybody's time, man. I will not be able to pay you now. I will not be able to pay you for foreseeable future. Should we continue our relationship when I come back to life? Mm -hmm. I'm like, absolutely not. Dr. Winton, if you can't call me on a bad day, why would you call me on a good day? If you really want me to leave, wait to see if you're going to survive or not. And then if you survive, Try to get you back as a client, really? Mm. Part of stepped up and said, here's the deal. You know, we'll continue on like we normally are. When things turn around, of course you'll pay. Of course we'll pay. And, um, but to get things done and working and him to help us through that, his help meant all the difference in the world because number one, the moral support, right? Looking at the world through a different set of eyes helps know that we're building products to help secure and increase whatever little business we did have to make it more solid and stick and increase sales. And when you run out of options, like what do we do? So you call part of it, like, here's what I would do. Oh, shit, I, I didn't think of that, right? Or look at it from a different perspective. And so those things kept it going, even though things were, were, were kind of dark for a little while, it kept that going. And now that we're coming out the other side, 
Now we have all these products. Once we close that gap, that adds a million dollars a year, forever. So I'm gonna be in practice another 20 years. That's $20 million he added to our practice, right? So yeah, that's huge. That's very huge. I have dedicated my life to solve one problem. That problem is when a patient says no, $6,000 walk away. Right? And patients say no all the time. You know, you get 10 leads, you return the call, four answer, two schedule, or where'd the other eight go? How do we keep track of those? They've already expressed an interest. Your marketing dollars already brought them to you, um, but they just haven't connected yet. What is happening in the life of the patient that matters? What the patient is unable to do that their spouse can, their kids can? Real challenge is, you want to pick up your granddaughter, but you can't. That's the real, the, we call it the problem of the problem, the, the, the pain behind the pain, right? Stay in touch with every patient until they buy or unsubscribe. So I met Artif about over a decade ago, and one of the things that impressed me the most, still impresses me, is the man's tenacity. He is a bulldog. He never quits. It's amazing the way he can communicate uh, very difficult concepts, make them easy to understand. I met him at the Dan Kennedy seminars. He was always sitting right up front on the right-hand side on the aisle. He was always there. So heart makes a difference. But his depth of knowledge, right? Anything that you need, he knows a guy. He's on the phone calling the guy. So he's connected in all the things that you need to be connected in, in terms of marketing. This guy, he knows his stuff. I mean, he really knows his stuff and he follows through to completion. Having a part of you know, some of our uh, strategy conversations and things like that have really helped uh, you know, kind of get out of the mental box that I was in and kind of open up, open up my mind to, to different possibilities, different avenues. You work with marketers all the time as a business owner and you get to understand that most marketers, no matter what they're telling you, it's in their own self-interest. And part of is not that person. He's a person that genuinely cares and he will turn you down if he doesn't think he can bring you value. I remember I was in an event um, uh, in Chicago when I first met him in person. Uh, and what's the nice thing about that is um, I met him, he was in rush and he said, listen, just go read this thing. And if you're interested, call me back. So I took it and read it um, at home and I was like, oh, that sounds pretty nice. And, and I called him. Christmas night, I think. It was literally Christmas night or Christmas day, like the night before Christmas, everybody was closed. And he picked up the phone and actually that's when we, we decided to work together. It's been a um, very pleasant three years working with Parthib. It makes my third practice easier and easier. I just know I have the real estate. I have the structure, the infrastructure. I have my newsletters, I have my, um, my uh, education material, I have my shock and eye package, and I'm just plug and play now. I would never have done that without e-launches and, and part even deeper. No entrepreneur should fail. No entrepreneur should die. I can't support all of them, but I did those I could. I'm proud of it.